What's up guys? Godzilla Fan Freaks coming at you today with another figure review. And today's figure review is Bandai Creations Hedra from Godzilla vs. Hedra 1971. Now this is Hedra's final form and just to get right on to it, uh, Hedra is very, uh, for Bandai Creations, I believe it's Bandai Creations, sorry if I'm getting that wrong, but um, he is actually uh, very nicely detailed and uh, paint job is very nicely done for Bandai Creations. They actually did very accurate with this figure, somewhat accurate. Most of the time when we saw Hedra in his final form, it was at nighttime, so we really couldn't see all the colors and stuff. But overall, uh, this is a very nice figure. Uh, detail all the way around. I mean, how how uh, good with detail can you get to a giant monster of sludge and crap and trash and pollution and crap? So, uh, but overall, very nicely detailed all the way around. I mean, just all the different little, I guess you would just call it sludge drapes and all the nice little cracks and stuff on the top of his head. Bottom of him is smooth, of course. And, uh, you know, just his hands and his feet are kind of blend. His feet and legs are blended into the body. The eyes are very nicely done. I do want to say that. The eyes are probably the nicest part on this figure. And as far as paint job goes, he does have that silvery, uh, gleamish color as long as with some blacks. And as you can see, some greens, especially on the top of his head and along with a, a deep maroon red type paint as well. And of course, his eyes are that reddish with kind of the, you know the kind of the yellowish, goldish in the center, and black pure for pupils. And uh, that's about it to this figure. Um, really, there's no articulation at all. There is kind of what I can see is a glue seal that goes around the top here, but I mean, really, there's not any articulation to this figure at all. You can bend his tail a little bit. But, I mean, really, there's no articulation at all with this figure. Um, as far as scale goes, uh, he will scale in well with your 6-inch Bandai, you know, Godzilla, or from Ultraman. He will scale in well with. Hedra's supposed to be a little bigger in his final form, about that tall or so, but, I mean, not bad. So he will scale in well with your 6-inch uh, Kaiju Bandai, so not a problem there. And, uh, boy, if this was a very short review... I don't think I missed anything, but um, I mean, it's just a very basic Hedra figure. It's the only Hedra figure I have. I should maybe get another one, maybe one that has movable arms, or maybe even one of the X Plus ones. That would be awesome. Anyways, um, we are Godzilla Fan Freaks. This is Bandai Creations Hedra, and uh, please comment, like, and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next video review. Thank you for watching.